So if you want to see this wild honey blowing on a gentle breeze, finds me to the only place I ever want to be. Wild honey, wild honey. It started with three moms looking to spend more time together and soon became something even bigger. We joked a little bit about starting a band and as we talked about it, we thought actually that would be a really cool idea. Worst case scenario, it's just the three of us ever in, a, in the living room and that's as far as it goes. We didn't know what we were going to become. We just thought, let's get together, bring our instruments, come with some ideas. What would become is Wild Honey, consisting of Shelby Knutson, Laura Kane, and Jessica Niedermeyer, who, as the wife of former NHLer Rob Niedermeyer, is no stranger to the public eye, and being the daughter of legendary recording artist Barney Bentall, making music only seem natural. We listened to a ton of music growing up. I loved watching my dad perform. Uh, my brother got into music at a younger age. I always respected them a lot. I never saw myself doing it other than singing in my room or in the car. So it was a big step for me to take. Sometimes you gotta find your own way. You go yours and I'll go mine. Wide open spaces, they can choke you. Jess totally reminds me of Barney. She's got that bental voice, but more in Jess has the same passion for music. She loves music and loves making music. To get some inspiration for songwriting, they would visit Music City, USA, Nashville, Tennessee. When we went to Nashville, it changed what we thought about music and what music can do for people. That's actually where we wrote our very first song. We got a pen and paper and thought, okay, let's give this a go. We kind of all started broke out laughing. We were like, well, how do we do this? They would figure it out, obviously. In fact, they would even write a song about the Ryman Auditorium, home to the Grand Ole Opry, entitled Mother Church. Mother Church na, 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 na. Since that trip to Nashville, the ladies have recorded a song in Vancouver with Craig Northey, even shared the stage with Jessica's brother and father as part of the Caribou Express fundraising tour. It was kind of a dream come true to be on stage with my dad and my brother. I was really proud of our band for being able to do that at that point. Having already exceeded their own modest expectations, only time will tell just what the future holds for Wild Honey. One thing for certain though, these talented moms definitely found a way to spend more time together. When we started the band, that was the whole point. We were all sort of feeling like we needed each other more. I think that's what it really came down to. We wanted to have fun and we wanted to hang out more, but I think we just needed each other. For Go in Cranbrook, I'm Blaine Evans.